dude. The normal Siren Head is huge already. I don't understand, my dude. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, I spoke too soon. I mean, that's smart, right? Like, if you know that something can kill you, you would run away, right? Okay, okay, okay. No more, no more, no more, no more, no more. Uh, let me check Twitter, see if you guys are sending me any, like, scary stuff to watch. So this one is called, I was hunted by Siren Head with, like, this code right here. Apparently, this is part two. There's no, like, part one, like, linked anywhere, so I don't know where part one is. I'm gonna leave a like on this. Here we go. This one's by Golden Lane Studios. Alright. Hello, everyone. I fixed my camera. It was only the system broken also. I decided to come back again and show you the place. By the way, there might be a jump scare. <gasps> okay, no, no, no. If I prepare myself for a jump scare, we should be good. Hey man, I that was I was not jump scared. This place is under control by the government. I don't know what is happening and what they're planning to do. Okay. This is like vintage. It's like a old retro style of filming. I started to hear white noise, white noise sound when I arrived and I saw something behind the tree. Siren Head? No, dude, I thought that was Siren Head, but that's literally a telephone pole. Yeah, this guy's, a oh, I was about to say he was being paranoid, but yeah, run, run. Oh God. And of course it goes correct. Oh. Is this his house or is he just hiding inside of someone else's house? Hopefully it doesn't see him. What is that? Is that like... Oh! Yo! What? That's it? Why? What? Yeah, rest in peace. F, F, F in the chat, guys. F in the chat. Uh, this was also by Golden Lane Studio. So, this one uh, is called Siren Head Chronicles Episode 1 Animation Movie by Golden Lane Studio. Uh, I know they have, like, they're supposed to be an episode 2, but I don't think it's out yet. This one came out in September, so... Here we go. Let's check this one out. That first one was really good. That one was... Oh, this one's even better. Holy. How do they make stuff like this? This is like... This is insanely... There it is. This is so well made. React to Tommy in it soon. Wait, 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 wait. I, I think I just saw something. I might be going... Okay, maybe that's what I saw. Hold on. I saw some... Yeah, right there. What? Are those people or... What are those? I wish I could just zoom in and see, but... And then we have lamp heads. Is that a thing in the future? Lamp heads? Oh, we got lamp heads. We got siren heads. What else do we got? The future is something else. Caused by, sponsored by 2020. The virus turned them into lamp heads. Imagine. Oh, there's another one. Yo, they're like zombified lamp, lamp people. I don't like this. I really don't. Oh, there it is. There's Siren Head. I'm surprised it's... 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, I spoke too soon. I was about to say, I'm surprised it's not grabbing the train, but like, it was like so calm at first. I was like, yeah, it's just chill. It's just walking. And then, next second, you know, boom. Train going crazy. Everything going wild. Okay. Chaos. Yeah, I I never wish to be in a situation like this, man. This is literally something out of a movie. Like you wake up all dizzy and like oh, all your vision your vision like out of out of focus. Oh my gosh, those lamp heads too. They're effective. Oh, oh, never mind. You're dead. You dead, dead. <gasps> oh God. Yep, it's over. What? Oh my gosh. Goodbye, my kind friend. F in the chat, man. F in the chat. All right, so this one is by Clark Teeter. This one is called The Megahorn, Destroyer of Siren Heads. All right, let's do it. The Megahorn, report one. Siren Heads, a race of malicious creatures whose origins are unknown. There isn't just one. They can be found all over the world, each I always thought there was only one, but the minds of the apparently not. They do this. Oh, the same footage that, that we just saw. Siren looking heads. Many people, once they hear these calls, are drawn deeper and deeper into the nesting layers of these creatures and are never heard from again. Those who survive tend to always be worse off for the encounter, suffering both physical, mental, and or spiritual energy. Yeah, I can tell the why. If I ever see that in real life, and either I'm having PTSD. I'm going to be traumatized. To a form not human. There are also several dangerous variations that all have unique abilities in addition to their mind-altering horns. Not only Bro. are their abilities different, often more powerful, but their behaviors are atypical. Most of these variants are just as malicious as their common version. In some cases, such as the infamous multi-head siren head. What? Even have you guys seen have you guys ever seen something like this? I think the most sirens I've ever seen on a siren head is two, right? This has one, two, three, four, five, six. Holy. Also, it is only a theory where these variants come from, but it's of the belief that this man, these this man, siren heads emerge. It's a siren head on crack, factor, basically. One being consuming a certain amount of people, and the other is staying alive for a long period of time. It may be those factors combined with the environment that a siren head sets up to nest that factors into the resulting variant. Few yep. are as intelligent as the ones behind Apparently the there's different types of siren heads. Where four I guess. siren heads were able to summon a massive giant that completely wiped out an average sized town. Let, 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 let's find out about After Megahorn. That, the Megahorn. The were dedicated to tracking down the other variants on the siren heads to keep track of where they're at and what they can do that other siren heads can. This is where the Megahorn came in. Look, it just ate a siren head. And then we have another one right here, so small. Just when you thought siren heads were huge, you have something that's like, I don't know, one, two, three, four, four times its height. A recent discovery of what can occasionally happen. And it's not even standing up. Rotates. Bruh. The cause of a megahorn siren head is always the same. A starving, skittish siren head encounters another one and ends up consuming them. The cannibalistic action ends up causing the siren on the creature's head to massively grow. Enough to drag the creature's posture from standing straight up to crouching over. To support the I don't know how people of think body, of like multiple limbs grow and sprout from a mega horn. Dude, body, I don't know how people think of like these creations. Appearance. It's crazy. With the growth of the siren, you guys the know mega that like range is exponentially wider people than the created siren. these things, right? The sound it can make like they drew them stronger. out so they had some Getting sort of idea in their head and they threw out this caused the heads of weaker creatures to well explode a telephone pole weaker head creatures include humans as well 
Megahorn is different from most sirenids as the creature is not a nester. Megahorn tends to roam around, probably due to its larger size increasing the food requirement. Yep, the creature and then it goes around active, eating other siren heads constantly eating and humans. Whatever thing it can grapple with its many limbs, often after disabling its prey by the use of its horn. The megahorn siren head doesn't have a preferred target, as long as it's alive. Yep, it'll it's it'll eat another siren head apparently. This includes men, women, animals, and even other siren heads. Yep, yep, there it, it goes. It seems that the megahorn is particularly suited to eating other siren heads. Its horn is loud enough and powerful enough. Bro, I can't even imagine the size at this point. And it being much larger and much stronger than the average siren head, Mega Horn has been observed easily hunting them down and rapidly consuming the monsters. Bro, <laughs> it's just kicking everything around. Do you guys ever wish you could be as big as Siren Head? I'd be running around like throwing cars everywhere. Literally GTA. Even wider. Playing, playing GTA as Siren Head. The agency is trying to avoid. <laughs> you guys said yes. Mutated further into another variant. Some I don't think I would ever want to be that big, cause uh. Consume a Siren Head, or worse. Yeah, no. A variant. No. I wish I was like six. One of them will be the magic like number needed. Six foot three. That'd be perfect. Which will only put more people in danger, as its abilities. But not more a whole. Dangerous. Like Efforts have to thirty be made foot to tall. Keep it from consuming Siren Heads. And as horrible as it sounds, it's almost preferred that it victimizes humans and animals over other siren heads. Not that the agency will allow it to feed on humans. The use of suggestive drugs and warding away curious campers will usually keep humans away from it. Similar to using sniper tactics and the use of explosives to injure it is also effective. Things that would work on basic siren heads will also apply to the mega horn. Mm. Killing Let's it. find out how you can the take it out. Is possible. Like most things in this world, guns. If it can bleed, it can die. Yeah. One of the issues is keeping the mega horn in place long enough to do such injuries. One of the core attributes of a mega horn is that the creature is an opportunistic hunter and a coward. What could threaten it? Will cause the mega horn to retreat if it's I mean that's smart, attacking. right? Like if you know that something can kill you, you would run away, right? Surprisingly cautious about Other monsters, they would just go towards gunshots. Likely, this thing the reason it wanders smart. around and why it constantly attacks. Yeah, I need footage of the mega horn. I've only seen footage of you know the normal the creature seems to be fleeing from something and doing everything it can to get as tough as possible. We've only seen a picture of the mega horn. The Where's the video? Where's the videos at? See this one again. One with a siren power mega horn to warn people away. The question that the agency has to answer is, what is the, the mega, mega horn be like? I'm your daddy from? now. Something it encountered as a siren head oh. drove it out of its nest and proceeded to perform a hazy act of cannibalism, all by instinct. Could there be yet another dangerous variant of the siren head that the agency doesn't Dude, know about? Dude, the normal siren head is huge One already. I don't understand, my dude. Multi-headed siren. A closer eye needs to be kept on the mega horn, tracking its location well, and the history. Well, there's only one way to find places. out. Could you guys ready to see the mega horn in real life? It was fleeing from. In you guys wish it was real? It would be easier if Mega you got, could communicate. You got, but like I don't think the Mega is real. The creature is you guys finished. wish the normal Siren well, Head was real? Heck nah. The creature I think I'm good just watching videos around. about it. So far, Mega Horn has been recently sighted yes? in the northern regions of the You're crazy. Tundras, and is steadily making its way even further north. Okay, okay, okay. No more. <laughs> no more, no more, no more, no more. All right, guys. Please, guys. Go to my Twitter right now and follow me if you guys want. But link me a scary animation or something that you guys want me to react to and I will give you a shout out.